Hi, my name's Holly, I'm a computer science tutor and I run Teach All About It. Today we're going to be looking at a past paper question for programming theory from the CIE IEGCSE computer science syllabus. The student answer we're looking at today comes from an answer submitted on my online distance learning course. This student has given me permission to look through their answer with you, so by the end of this video you'll be able to tell exactly what you need in order to get full marks. So, let's get started. Okay, so there's a lot going on with this question. We have some information at the top, we have some pseudocode, and then we have an array at the bottom. But the question we're actually being asked is to describe the function being performed by the algorithm. So we're going to just double check what we need to do. We have a command there, uh, which is to describe, so we don't need to put any pseudocode in there, we need to explain what's going on. Now, the other thing that we're going to look at here is that the algorithm performs an operation on the array named my data. So let's go and have a look. Here is my data um, and the index here starts at zero. So when we are provided and you can see here, we're actually given an example, my data two, which would be this value here. My data two is going to give us the value of five. So we've also been told what uh, the div function means, and you can see the div function is used just here. So we are uh, dividing by two, but using integer division. And that's essentially how many times does two go into this number? So this is only two marks, but what I'd like you to do is to try the question. And in this case, if you don't understand what's going on in the pseudocode, use a small trace table to help you. Okay, so pause the video and then we'll look at the student answer. Okay, so this particular student answer is um, looking at um, what they need to do. Now, this particular student did get full marks here, and I'm just going to explain why they got full marks. So in this case, what they've done is they've identified that this particular algorithm is performing a search. And in this case, it is a binary search. Now, the reason we know it's a binary search algorithm is because they are identifying the first and the last. So they started with, and I will highlight this, item zero and 16. Now you can see that up here as first and last, and then they calculate the middle value. Now the middle value here is first plus last. So in this case, that would be naught plus 16. Um, and that's going to give us in this case 16. And then how many times does two go in? That's what the div does. How many times does two go into 16? Well, that is eight. So position eight here is where we look. Now in a binary search algorithm, what happens is that you are looking at the middle value. Is that what we're looking for in terms of our search? That's the user input. Um, and then if it's not, then we are simply getting rid of half of the array. And this is known as a divide and conquer algorithm. Divide and conquer simply means that you are getting rid of half of the array. Now, the actual answer for this is a lot more simple than describing what is happening in binary search. Um, and it is simply saying that the user is entering a, uh, entering a number. You can see here the function is it's looking to find that number. That's where we got our first mark. Um, you could have got another mark in this one for saying it's looking for a number in an array. Um, however, this student has correctly identified that they are using binary search, so therefore we gave a second mark on that one. Now the mark scheme itself did just say looking for a user number in an array by performing a search 
algorithm. So the fact that this user, uh, or sorry, this student has um, been able to correctly identify a binary search algorithm means that they're working beyond the current specification, which is fantastic. Now, what I am going to do is to uh, link below um, to this video to another video on binary search and some extra information. So if you want to look at that algorithm in more detail, then you absolutely can. So would you like your practice question featured on one of my videos? You can send in your revision questions for free for GCSE, IGCSE or A-level computer science at teachallaboutit.school, where there are loads of independent study resources. Or you can join my distance learning tutor courses at teachallaboutit.uk. Please don't forget to give this video a like if you found the revision useful. And of course, you can hit the subscribe button to get notified each time I upload new revision videos. Lots of luck with your revision and I'll see you next time.